Travis says, I have some students who I have deleted from my teams as they have dropped the class. So we're talking about teams and EDU, uh, but they still show up on my list every time I post a new assignment. How do I stop this from happening? Once I delete them, I want all traces of them removed. Harsh. Oh, <laughs> and okay. to not have them appear for any new assignment. Okay. So a student that's deleted from a team still appear in assignments, though, because um, assignments are actually linked to a student profile, not the team. Okay. So if you if you start to look at sort of removing a student from a team, that profile is still sitting in the system. And because their assignments are already there, you know, from past, they're still going to appear in the assignment list. It's not going to actually remove them um, when you when you're going forward. When you go and create a new assignment, the name won't actually appear. It shouldn't well, shouldn't appear. Um, you make sure that one, the students removed from the class team. Um, two, in the back end, even if they're still, you know, as part of that, um, you know, stay stay around for thirty days kind of thing because of OneDrive and all. It might be there for a little bit, but. You know, hopefully, you know, moving forward, eventually that should start to drop off. If it's not, then I'd be speaking to your administrator and looking at, you know, had they been removed from the system, you know, all different things that come with it, because that can then just be a back end, you know, provisioning type stuff. And what's their process model, you know, the governance around students coming and going. Mm -hmm. So so would you would you have expected the students in this case to have been removed as members of the team? but they just still yep. stick around as in assignments? Well, um, they do still, well, they stick around in their, so the profile is still there based on, for for, for assignments, the profiles are still there. Yeah. So um, they just, yeah, look, it's still going to show up on the list posting news, but for how long? It shouldn't go for that long. And it's more about the profile than it is about the student in there you should be yeah you should delete the student so that they're not actually in there in the team anymore and receiving right. all the notifications and the noise but, it depends yeah. on if there are students still in the whole um education department or yeah. not or what that looks like I, yeah. it's essentially it's like a guest in the in the network i mean it isn't the only way to to purge them out is to go into the admin center and yep, actually right. remove them from that yeah i mean i've seen some other cases with profiles and um, where going in an active directory and there was, again, some aspect, some component that was still there, but you should be able to go into the admin center and remove them. And once they are gone from that list, they should be gone. They should be gone. So should be here. Uh, I used to work in EDU and we had the opposite experience where uh, the the instructor was adding a user to the team and then our provisioning tools were removing them because they, oh. they weren't they weren't officially a student in the class. So the the provisioning solution is like, well, this is a manual ad, get them out. Hmm. And so, you know, you have to work with the teacher to find out why, or the instructor, excuse me, why that person was yeah. in there. You know, it was a legit reason. But uh, in our case, uh, we were using something called School Data Sync, which is a Microsoft product, and it connects to like the student information systems and it brings down the class rosters and it will only synchronize membership based on that class roster. So when we first heard the question, my first thing was like, oh, talk to IT and find out what's auto provisioning. But if it's right. like Kirstie says- be putting says, them back in again because yeah. they're part of the class. So therefore keep putting them yeah. back in. Mm -hmm. yeah. So remind me, this hasn't anything to do with EDU anymore, but if I'm thinking about the teacher's perspective and all this, uh, we're, we're all in a team, I get removed, but I've contributed to something in like a conversation or a file. Did the conversation show up differently for the uh, the team owner, the instructor in this case? No, they're still they're still all there. The, the past past history isn't going to go. It's still going to stay there um, with all of the details. It only you only get it where it becomes a sort of an unknown type user. As if you're using lists, for example, and then you've got you know it's not assigned to them anymore. So those right. sorts of things drop off. But the conversation stays there um, with the name against it as well. But right. um, yeah, I look, you know, um, the joys of joys of teams for education. It it's the nature of it's just different though it's just different yeah especially because you've got other um 
other technology plugging in around assignments and how that works and the one note and you know the, the just the nature of it does yep. does do things a little differently yeah my first thought norm with you again not an education example but i have a customer who has an employee that has voluntarily left a team and every day when they come back in they're added back to the team and they're like, how do I get out of this team? But they're in a hybrid situation. So on-prem sync is syncing them back mm -hmm. in, right? So again, it's a right. it's a tool that's doing that because it thinks it's supposed to be. So some, some time can happen. Just, right. It depends, right? It depends. I always learn something from y'all. <laughs> like, I love doing these sessions because I, I get to learn new things too. So. Mm, 100%. Yep. Great.